All right, guys, I'm here at Best Buy. Uh, I'm going to pick up the PlayStation. So uh, I'm not in. I don't know if it'll. I think it did. There's the Best Buy there. I'm not going to film me going in just to be. But we'll be right back. All right, guys, I just got out of Best Buy. I... Right here, strapped in. We're going to head home and then open it up. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Um, you're barely going to see me behind this thing. It's huge. It's very heavy. Um. We're going to open it. I got my handy dandy uh, electric shaver because I don't know what happened to all my knives. It works really well though. I'm telling you, it just clean cut right through that tape. Let's see. So box open. I don't know what angle you guys like for, uh, I'm going to see my face do a little thing. I don't know what angle you guys like for, um, unboxing uh, I got an adapter for my camera so I can put it on my mic arm because I don't use my mic arm so so inside the box we got another box PlayStation logo handle I like the handle um, your clip thingy undone there's the handle and you know what we've got more boxes throwing things on the floor all right ready throwing things on the floor um just just because i want you guys to see it this is what it looks like inside the box when you first open it we take this small box out. Um, this probably should have stayed closed. I don't know why it's not closed. Probably my fault. That looks like the system itself in there. We're going to set that aside for just a second. I know. I know everybody's really excited about this part. We're going to come back to it. Okay. So, this box right here. Open it up. I wish I could, like, move my camera. That'd be really cool. That's what I need to get. Uh, safety guide. Don't need that. Quick start guide. We're going to figure that out on our own. This is the outlet, the, the adapter for the wall. Uh, very important for literally anything electronic. What's in this box here? I'm open this box. This is the stand that it comes in. Your standard... Uh, foam bag wrapping thingy. The stand, I'm going to need this because I do plan on keeping it upright. There's a weird little piece of plastic on there. I don't know where that came from. It does come with an HDMI. That's good. Um, I'm assuming it's whatever you need to do. At, what is it? HDMI 2.1 or whatever. I'm guessing it's that. Um, I'm not going to use it. I already bought one from Amazon that's really nice it's braided so this is gonna probably just stay in the box but it'll be nice to have if I I don't know do something else in the future that needs one of those okay so hiding behind where the controller is is the car the charging cord for the controller we're gonna take that out um I had to plug this in somewhere I will plug this in in a few minutes I'm done unboxing this while I'm setting the damn thing up. But here we go. This is the big deal piece right here. I don't know how well you can see it because, you know, the camera's pretty far away. I'm go You know what? I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to just look at this real quick. Plastic wrapping. Ooh, that's nice. We're going to take it out of the wrapping now. So, go. It's my first time ever even holding one of these. Um... Ooh, the bottom has a weird, nice texture to it. It does feel nice in the hand. It doesn't feel too much different than, ooh, there is some, these already feel different. Ooh. Um, it does feel different than the PS4 controller. Not so different that I don't like it, though. I like that the, um, I'll get a picture with the, the camera and the phone. 
I like that there's a little like PlayStation logo there instead of the thing. There's another button here. I don't know what that button does. We're gonna find out. Um, but it's really nice. Really, I'm digging it. Honestly, I'm very I'm ready to use this for the next seven to eight years. Okay, so we're gonna set all this stuff aside. That's probably fine. Stuff in the other box. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it out of the box and onto the table. I don't know if that's a taboo for boxing videos. I don't know. I don't get to do too many of these. I don't really have a lot of money. Box. So it comes in the standard cardboard protecty thingies. Um, take that off. Throw it away. Take the other one off. Throw it away. Don't drop the console on the desk. It's like, it's like unwrapping a newborn baby or a burrito or something. I don't know. I don't like burritos that much, actually, but, oh. Just, we're going to get back on the phone for a second. Oh, my God. I don't know how zoomed out I have to be. Oh. It's, it's just, it's nice. It's so nice. This is actually etched. It's, I, it's not just a little logo. It's actually etched in there. That's really nice. We're going to move that out of the way it is heavy i know people have said that before it is heavy uh here's the model with the disc drive um so i'm gonna grab my phone real quick for a second we're gonna look at the bat ports here you've got your power hdmi ethernet two usb 3s that's nice uh, I don't know what that thing is. It looks like one of those locking ports that they put on laptops. Given how hard it is to get one of these things, things, things I don't really uh, want to pass them. Front of the console, uh, same thing. You got your fancy CD drive there. Um, you know, those, those are must be the power and the eject buttons. Um, USB C and another USB. I don't know what. I'm gonna guess it's a three. If that's a two, I'm gonna be disappointed. To be honest with you, I don't know. I'll look into it. Also, don't don't mind the mess in the background. Um, we'll do something about that eventually. So right now we're gonna put the stand. We're gonna put it on the stand. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know why we have this extra. Like this piece here, I don't know what the hell that's for. I probably should read the instructions and be like, oh yeah, it's for this, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. I don't know. It kind of looks like it doesn't exactly clip in. I don't know how it goes. Oh, like that, I guess. Maybe. Oh, you see, this turns. And then it, ooh, okay. I don't know if you saw that. So, well, real quick. Um, oh, my docking thing you went. So, it's like this, right? Right, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try to get with the camera on the phone. So you put it in like this, right, sideways. You swivel it, right? And it falls into place, and then you pull it back, and it locks in with these little clips here keeps it in place that you know what that's a lot more sturdy than I was expecting it to be is it as sturdy as some of the other things I've seen no still pretty good um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug it into the TV start it up I think I am gonna I don't know I'm, I I want to record it I don't want to record it um, the reason being is I don't know where my capture card went I don't really dig in and out. I don't feel like turning the computer on. So, we'll see. I'm going to put it on the stand. See how it looks. And I'll be right back. You guys, now that I'm thinking about it, I think we did see a video on the uh, announcement thing about this. But there is a little screw under under here. Um, for the PlayStation. 
to, to get it in place. So, I mean, again, you just put it back. And by the way, it stands on its own, no problem. Um, but I think the stand is just there for a little extra support for a console this expensive. I, uh, I'm not saying no to the extra support, to be honest. Um, so the bottom of the thing here, you just put the screw in, should be in place. Oh, 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 that's the thing that I forgot. There's like a little piece here that you pull out with the, with the hole. Oh, a lot of ventilation on the bottom of this thing too. I haven't looked at the bottom yet. So, you know, throw that in place, put the screw in. Uh, I'm going to use a screwdriver. go it's in there tight and there's even a little spot in there to put this little circle thing so you don't lose it neat okay so we've got that all set up we can flip it over it's locked in place it's got the grooves on it it's it's good to go look at that beautiful all right that's it Okay, so very important before you do anything transfer-wise, um, you're going to want to go to your trophies, hit options, synchronize with the PlayStation Network. Uh, this may take a couple minutes, I'm not sure, but it's very important, otherwise your, your PlayStation trophies won't go to the next system. We're going to switch to the PS5. Turn my audio up just a little bit so you can actually right in here. Um, hit the button on the thing. Okay, that might be a big issue. I don't know that the controller is synced to the system yet, so we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. I don't know which button that was. I don't know if that was power or it looks like power. Ooh, it's. It's glowing. Ooh, look at that. Really glow. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Brancher votre manette de jeu sur la console à l'aide d'un câble USB, puis appuyez sur la touche PS. Why are you in French? Connect your controller to the console with the USB cable and press the PS button. Yes, I'm trying. Select in your English, language. please. English, United States. Yes. Continue with the screen reader. No. No. That's a great feature for somebody that needs it, but I don't need it, so no thank you. Connect into network. No, actually, we're not going to do wired LAN just yet. We're going to go down to that one, and you're going to not know my password. I'm going to black this screen out for just a second. Okay, password going. There we go. Yes, I have two routers. Don't worry about it. I don't know that I'm going to show that part. Um, the circle should fill with screen, the screen without showing black borders. Yes. I have a game disc and start now. So I do have a game disc. I bought Valhalla. And we're going to put that in. As soon as I get to Alright, Valhalla. Oh, I'll take this out. Yes, I did get the disc version. I think I already showed you that, but I'm very excited about the disc version. 
I hope it goes in like that. Don't know that I put it in right. I think I did. I hope I did. Find out. It's not like fighting me or anything. Okay, yeah, it looks like I did. The mom's experience. No specific setting. Just updates. Make sure to save the game. Yes. That's fine. I agree. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Yes. We're gonna do a system update. Update. Yes. Oh, the controller also has a system update. That's neat. Okay, sign it. No, you don't get to see my password and stuff. That's what I want. I don't want any of these because I've actually heard that it, you know, kind of doesn't work really well on the PlayStation 5. I don't know. I don't know that I care. I want to do this. Then I can transfer. Okay, so I will do this later. Okay, so well, all is more than halfway done. Fifty-seven percent. That's pretty good. We're gonna go to settings. It said settings. Um, yes, systems. System data transfer. If for the PS4, you can transfer only data. You can transfer other users. That's fine. Sure, PS4 is turned on. Well, Connect the same network. Yep, they're connected through one Ethernet cord from the back of the PS4 to the back of the PS5. It's the easiest way to do it. With a time limit, press the power button on your PS4 for one second until it beeps. Now, the question is, which way is my power button? It did. I named my PS4 Dicks. I don't remember naming my PS4 that. <laughs> Alright, well. Sorry, Dicks. So I don't remember naming it that. Don't, don't, re don't, don't name your PS4 dicks. I don't know how many people out there not to do that, man, but don't do it, man. I don't know what the voice is I'm doing, but don't do it. <laughs> the PS4 deserves a better name than dicks. I'm sorry. I feel really bad. Let's see what the PS4 is doing. I don't know if I have to do anything over there. I might have to. No, just preparing to transfer data. Okay. Me? Oh god, some of the stuff I don't want. Ah, oh, sure, sure, sure. Stuff that I'm actually gonna play. Sure, sure, sure. I don't know that I'm ever gonna play that again, but sure. Hey, Valhalla's already ready to play. That was really fast. Tabletop Racing World Tour. I don't know that I'm ever going to play that again. 
I'm definitely not going to play Final Fantasy XV ever again. Maybe The Last of Us, but I'm not playing the second one. Monster Hunter for sure. Not that. Nope. I think that's really important. We hear about that. Layers of Fear was good. Elkins, I guess. Select like with games Inquisition, Spider Man, Far Cry, Iceborne, Avengers. Avengers, and I do want to play it on this, but I'm going to, like, wait to put it on there. 17 minutes, it says. Wow. Alright, so I literally just went to the bathroom and came back and it's done. I thought this would take a couple of hours. So I guess I will be recording videos some other time. We're not recording, editing. Um, can't install. Why? Okay. Oh, it's still... Oh. I see. So it is going to take about an hour. Okay. Let's see what the PlayStation 4 says. So it's transferring. Cool beans. Okay. Well, I'll be back in, I guess, about an hour. Yeah, I, somehow I lost the last bit of the editing, the last bit of the video, I mean, for this part. So that's it. I mean, that's pretty much all it was done anyways. And once it was done, all the stuff was on the game, on the system, and there's really not much else to show you. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about PlayStation stuff, let me know, and I will uh, catch you in the next video. But also, real quick... Um, this this little button here, I don't know if you can see it because I don't have any lights on. This this little button right here, that's actually a mute button. Turns out you can push that to mute your microphone. Or you can hold it and it mutes the whole system. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, check out the next video. I'm playing games and stuff and I do have more unboxings coming. So, see you later.